Hello everyone here at OSMVDXReviews.com. You're watching our retro review of the Polaroid Photo Max. This is a camera that was released back in 2002, which makes it over a decade old. The interesting thing about this camera is it's a very affordable one, even when it was released, and it has a host of functions that are pretty rare in today's standards. It has a pretty industrial design, which means it's fairly rugged, not too attractive. It has two rubber pads to increase your grip ability of the product followed by a camera lens in the center that also dubs as a power on and off button. We also have a camera lens that is a man manual focus one. We have a viewfinder on the top followed by a xenon flash. The bottom houses a tripod stand and a battery slot which uh, holds um, four AA batteries. Quite unfortunate because the device weighs a lot due to these batteries. In addition, the batteries drain up pretty fast, so the cost for batteries is going to add up pretty soon. We also have a tripod stand, and on the left, we have access to a uh, card expansion for expanding the memory of the thing. Um, it doesn't come with any uh, built-in memory, so you have to have a card just to use the product. And unfortunately, this thing actually doesn't use a SD card or a standard card. Instead, it uses a very proprietary smart media card that was popular around, again, 10 years ago. Um, this little card here only holds up to 2 megabytes of memory, so you can imagine that you can't hold too many pictures with this thing. Uh, or you have to purchase a lot of these memory cards. The, the back houses a lanyard cord, I will have a viewfinder, a 1.6 inch TFT LCD display, menu, uh, information, album buttons, um, up and down keys, on the focus keys that takes us through uh, faraway subjects, self-portraits, and very close-up shots. The top of the, of the item also houses a secondary display, which is a traditional monochrome one, and that displays your photo quality, and displays how many images are remaining, and your battery life information. You also have a flash uh, and flash on and flash off modes, as well as a red eye removal mode, and also you have the two stage camera shutter key. So overall, this is a pretty interesting device. Let's turn it on and see, take a look at, uh, you'll see the light turn on, which means that the device is on. The first thing you'll do is to set the time, let's just say done, and it's gonna say no pictures. An issue uh, that was pretty common with the Polaroid Photomax was his tendency to forget its images. Um, when you, re when you uh, remove the smart media card without uh, saving up everything and then powering the device off. If the, if the camera is on and you remove the card, it basically forgets off its pictures once you turn. Once you take the card and put it back in, and it asks you to reformat the card. So unfortunately, it has a tendency to drop pictures, which which wasn't uh, a very good feature. An interesting thing about this camera, though, was. Uh, Although it has, you know, a LCD display, you would expect it to display images or act as a viewfinder. It can actually only viewfind your subjects using the built-in traditional viewfinder. So if I'm taking an image, I have to look through this instead of this. Uh, again, it's a more traditional thing. Um, when I'm taking images, like so, the LCD will actually turn black to conserve electricity. Uh, quite interesting as, as well. On the top, you can see we have a full charge in terms of battery. We can take 24 images using a three-star mode, which is the best photo quality uh, possible. This is on an automatic adjustment for the flash on and flash off mode. So if we look through the viewfinder and let's say we find something that that's interesting, I'm just gonna take a picture like so. It's gonna take the shot. And within a few seconds, it's going to display what I had on here. You can see that for a basic VGA quality camera, it's actually surprisingly decent. Um, not too shabby photo quality at all. And now we're down to only 23 images. Uh, notable features that are lacking on here include a USB connection port. So in order to uh, take out our, our pictures, we have to remove the, the, the memory card from the camera first. Another feature that was lacking was a zoom functionality, or at least it was a little bit more difficult to zoom in and out of uh, content than other devices. By pressing any of the other buttons, it will take you through a cycle of your uh, already taken shots. So let's take another picture here. For example, second image of this uh, Jabra Jobo Jawbone Bluetooth headset. I'm going to get in pretty close, adjust it to the close uh, mode, and then take the image. So there you go. And you can see that I wasn't really in focus, but um, you can see that photo quality is, is actually pretty decent in terms of color, saturation, uh, surprisingly decent for that. Again, I can cycle through my different images like so, and it works pretty well. Pressing on the menu, I can review these, these features. I can go to settings, set a self timer, delete these images like so, and then uh, reformat stuff as well. Don't delete, I'm just gonna go back. Pressing this information key, I can now see that I have two images on here. It's saying one of two images. 
And finally, pressing this key again will take us to back to taking pictures instead of viewing back our images on the camera. So again, it's a very simplistic uh, camera. There's no video recording functionality on here at all. Uh, it's just limited to taking images, and at taking images, it does a pretty decent job of doing it with its uh, low resolution sensor. It's surprisingly still in focus, and the colors are surprisingly sharp and vibrant. Um, so the, again, the Photomax, a very unique camera for its uh, usage of a smart media card instead of an SD card, and also for its low price, it's an inclusion of two screens instead of one, and the fact that it can only take images using the traditional viewfinder instead of the LCD one. So thanks for watching our retro review of the Polaroid Photomax here at osmptxreviews.com.